breaking news. Betrayers exposed. Powerful Igbo woman, bridge members, reportedly sold Simon Ekpa to finish government. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> you see, this world they say that man's worst enemy is a member of his household. It is an ally. Mm -mm. Not a lie. It did not just come like that. You understand? It, that word did not just come like that. People who will sell you out, now people will know you. People will come after you, now people will know you. These are people in, in one way or the other, you don't help them, you understand, and all that, things like that, you get. So this is life for you. In the aftermath of Simon Ekba's recent arrest by Finnish authorities, Rumors of betrayal within the within his inner circle have dominated discussions online. Ekpa, a prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in Ezai Bridge, was arrested in Finland just hours before these allegations began circulating. The claims of internal betrayal surfaced on X, formerly Twitter, where a user identified as EFCJ shared a photo of a woman alleged to be Ngozi Orambweze, a past second in command in the accompanying post. EFCJ accused Ngozi and other members of Bridge of conspiring with Finnish authorities to orchestrate a past arrest. The post read, there is a strong report from the camp of Simon Ekba's autopilot that Ngozi being Simon Ekba's second in command and some other members of the bridge convinced and sold Simon Ekba to the Finnish government. Adding fuel to the fire, the indigenous, the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, a prominent pro, Biafran separatist group also echoed the allegations of betrayal in a post by a maker gift 101 an IPOP representative it was suggested that members of bridge in collaboration with Nigerian government offers played a role in Akbar's arrest the post stated another report says some members of Bridge, with the collaboration of the Nigerian government, sold Simon Ekpa to the Finnish government. Reports coming from members of Bridge is very complicated as they are accusing each other of betrayal. The accusations have caused significant unrest among pro Biafran supporters, with many speculating about internal conflicts within Bridge. Some have pointed to ideological differences and power struggles as possible, possible motivations for the alleged betrayer. However, neither Ngozi nor other named bridge members have publicly addressed these allegations at the time of uh, reporting this news. Simon Ekpa has been a controversial figure in the Biafra separatist government. His leadership of Bridge and his call for self-determination has sparked debate and criticism, particularly regarding his methods and public statements. Also record that Simon Ekpa have announced that December 2nd, Biafra independence, Biafra nation will be declared. Okay, and this is what Nigerian government is really afraid of. You get Nigerian government have also confirmed of mounting pressure on Finnish government to get Mazenam the Kano, please pardon me, to get Simon Ekpa arrested. Meanwhile, uh, Nigerian government is currently, you know, hurting very hard to make sure that Simon Ekpa is repatriated back to Nigeria. You understand? They say Simon Ekba must be brought back to Nigeria, okay, to serve punishment. So this is the latest for now.
Nigerian government have vowed to make sure that Simon Ekpa is brought back to Nigeria to serve, you know, uh, to face trial. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.